How's it going today, YouTube? Luke here with Lifestyle Off-Road, and I wanted to talk to you about noise levels in a soft top Bronco. Now, if you've never owned a convertible soft top type vehicle, maybe it's a Jeep, whatever, um, I just kind of want to help you understand what to expect. Now, I have had this for over 40,000 miles. We are coming up fairly quickly on, a, on two years. I guess it'll be August. It's currently the end of March. So a year and a half, solid year and a half. I've had it through all four seasons and I have no complaints really about the soft top. The worst top part to me is that back window. If it gets really grimy in the middle of winter, sometimes it's hard to get it cleaned off without scratching it. Um, you really just need to use a lot of liquid and be able to take it to a car wash, pressure wash it off, soak it with a few different things, and then you can wipe it down once you're sure you have a lot of the dirt and grit off of it. But other than that, I love the soft top. Originally ordered a hard top, but due to restrictions, I switched my order to a soft top thinking I'll just buy a hard top later. But now I, that's not even a consideration. Um, I don't even, I'm not even thinking about ordering a hard top. We really like the soft top. Now, one thing you notice about noise significantly over a regular vehicle is if there's a loud truck coming by you or motorcycle, the sound really goes through these back windows. Um, I mean, this is just a thin layer of plastic. There's not a lot to keep the sound out. So that is something you will notice. Now for long road trips, which we've done a lot of in this thing, one thing I have done to help keep sound levels down is adding a moving blanket up top, which I'll show you in just a second. I feel like it's giving the sound something to kind of absorb into, and it makes a pretty substantial difference, especially on a windy day. I don't know if you can see over there, there's trees kind of swaying. Um, I live in Iowa and it's always windy. So this, I'm gonna show you my kind of hack, so to speak, on how to make it just a little more comfortable and quiet while you're riding around. Now, like I said, it's the end of March. It's finally acting a little bit like spring and I'm gonna take the top off today. So I am gonna actually take my moving blanket completely out because I'm about to the season where those three windows in the back just stay in the garage for months on end. So, as always, you need to come up. I'm just gonna undo those and we will flip the soft top back. And there you go. There is my lovely camo Harbor Freight moving blanket. So you can see, I guess it got a little bunched up. I just have it sitting on top of my gear shade, which now doesn't match my vehicle because I've got a new wrap, but whatever. So it just sits here. Um, it's very stuck over there on something. So this, I kind of have it flipped over and I have duct tape holding it into the perfect shape. I think this was like a $10 blanket from Harbor Freight, but I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference in just quieting down the cabin, allowing you to have a conversation with your passengers. Now, <clears throat> there's one other thing I did, and I just have this metal bar sitting here, and it's actually just on some Velcro tabs, because this blanket has a decent amount of weight to it. So I did put this metal bar up there just to kind of support it. And this is just, it's actually cheap um, cabinet slides. So it just spans across, I can take it off, and it helps support the gear shade, because the gear shade is just held on with bungees. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to, my video cut out on me. So I don't want to overstress those bungees because this does weigh a few pounds. Um, it is bigger than the roof, as you can see it doubled over, but that is my quick hack on how to just make riding around your Bronco a little bit more enjoyable, keep it a little quieter. 
I have two young kids and they're in the back. My wife, um, we don't like sitting there going, what, what did they say a hundred times? So this helps. Worst case scenario, you buy it, you try it. If you don't like it, then you just have a moving blanket. Um, so you're not really out anything. You probably get these on Amazon cheaper, but like I said, Harbor Freight, I think it was like $10. So the camo ones, I think they only come in one size if you're looking for the exact one. So check it out, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, that's my quick hack on how to keep your Bronco quiet and more enjoyable. As always, thanks for watching.